Oh, okay, well this feels very weird. Um, I've not been in front of the camera on YouTube for a very long time, so hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a very long time. Um, I had a little bit of a break when I got married, but apart from that, I've pretty much been filming YouTube videos for around about, it must be over a year, over a year now. So I've had a long break. Um, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am pregnant. I still can't believe I can even say that out loud. It's just crazy, bizarre, amazing, all at the same time. But yes, I am pregnant. I am so excited to be pregnant. I am so happy, so grateful. If you've followed me for a while, this is pretty much all I've ever wanted. Um, so I am super, super happy. Like I say, I've not filmed YouTube for ages. Long story short, my camera broke quite a while ago, actually. Basically, my camera broke before I got pregnant and I couldn't really afford to get a new one, just being completely honest. Um, these cameras are about £600 each, so they're not cheap and I just didn't have the money to put towards it. So, I actually claimed on my insurance, meaning that I got a new camera and I actually got this new camera today. Yeah, I am really, really excited about YouTubing. I can't wait. I'm so excited to document this part of my journey too. I really missed it, actually, more than what I thought. And I think it was mainly because... Like, I actually thought about it and I thought, YouTube is actually my hobby. Like, everyone has different hobbies and, like, creating content and YouTubing is my hobby. I absolutely love it. So I really, really missed it. And especially at the minute because I can't do my other hobbies with being pregnant. I can't play netball. can't do things like that. I'm really looking forward to getting back into YouTube. So, yes. Anyway, to make sure this video is not really, really long, I'm going to crack on. Um, I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, and I had quite a few, which I'm quite shocked at, actually. I felt like I'd gone off the grid for so long that no one was going to be interested in anything else when I came back, but it seems like you all are, so thank you. I am going to crack on and answer the first question. So the first question is, did you find it hard not sharing your news about your pregnancy sooner? I know I struggled. Yes very hard and um, there were so many times where I was really really tempted to just say it because as well I feel like nowadays there is so much taboo about baby loss and miscarriage and um, thankfully that hasn't happened to us um touch wood oh ignore the paint samples by the way we're gonna get there so yeah, um, I felt like I really would share it early, but then I didn't, and I was just so unsure. Um, but in terms of publicly, um, I didn't share it early. I shared it after 12 weeks, but yes, I was very, very tempted. It's such a hard time, that first trimester. It's crazy. Like, you just feel like you want to shout it from the rooftops, but you're so anxious. You, you just want to, like, you just want some support. And luckily, we were really, really open with our friends and family very early. We told both our families really early and both of our, like, really close friends early too. And then, as kind of times went along, we told them. So, most of our family and friends, pretty much everyone we knew, knew before our 12-week scan anyway, um, because we had some early scans, um, which I'm sure I'll get into at another time. But yeah, so we told fam friends and family early, but we didn't say it publicly till 12 weeks, but I was tempted, yes. <laughs> this leads me on to the next question which is how did you tell family your news did you and Dale find out together so I really want Dale to be in this video today but he wasn't that worried he's not too worried about being on YouTube we told our family I have actually put a video on TikTok I'll put the link down in my bio of telling my parents we basically just created this little box which had a pregnancy test in it some little white booties I actually got for a friend um, but I thought I'd just use them for that and a little note saying like dear Nan and Grandad so can't wait to meet you I'm only tiny but I love you so much already oh makes me emotionally even thinking about it and basically we gave it to them and they were really happy so yeah that's how we told our parents friends it kind of <laughs> the whole magical part of telling them didn't really plan out how I wanted to I wanted to tell them all and then be really shocked and but it turns out I told my close friends really early and it was just a bit of a I'm pregnant and they were like oh wow okay how are you so we did tell them all but it wasn't some elaborate thing um, which I think originally I thought it was going to be but actually when you're in that moment you just want to tell them and I think I filmed my parents, Dale's parents and that was it. The rest of them I didn't even film um, because I just thought it's actually quite nice just to have it as a memory rather than a photo, than a video, sorry. Um, did me and Dale find out together? Yes, we did find out together. It was amazing. To cut a long story short, I had a sickness bug or what I thought was a sickness bug and I just thought it was a sickness bug and that was it and I was due on my period and then basically two days later I just thought hmm it was my mum actually who said to me I had a sickness bug when I found out I was pregnant with you 
and I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, I'll just, you know, I did a test and it came up with a very, very faint second line. And, and I was like, oh, this is weird, Dale. Do you think? And he was like, I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. Like, let's not get our hopes up. We don't know. It's very faint, bloody blah. And then I went and got, well, my friend actually went and got me two more tests because I was still quite ill. And basically we did them and I, we did a digital and a, a traditional one. And I did them and I brought them out and closed my eyes and we both had them in my in my hand and I said, right, let's open our eyes in three, two, one, three, two, one. And sure as hell it was very positive. <laughs> um so yeah, that was that. And it was amazing. I didn't record it. It didn't even occur to me to record it. Like I kind of think, oh, it'd been lovely to look back on now, but in reality I didn't even think to record it. It just it just happened. It was a lovely moment. We both looked at each other, we both cried. Um I actually reacted in a way, even though I really wanted this, I reacted, I was a bit like, oh shit, I totally panicked, I was like, oh my god, shit, basically, like, this is it, um, Dale's been so chill throughout the whole thing, he's just been like, amazing, that's great, great, and I was just like, oh my god, okay, well this is it, and I did kind of go into a bit panic mode, actually, more, I didn't think I would, but I did, so yeah, that was how we found out together. It was really lovely and I will treasure that moment forever. It kind of brings me on to the next question, which is, did it take you long to try for a baby? I'm paranoid, my time is ticking and I'm only 23. Right, first of all, don't panic. Um, 23 is still super, super young. You've got loads and loads of time, but that never helps when you want a baby, when people say you're young. I used to find it probably the most frustrating comment when people used to say, oh, you're so young, don't stress about it. I used to think, yeah, but being young doesn't mean you don't want any less. You might have wanted yours a bit older, but I want mine now. So, yeah. Um, the whole trying for a baby thing, I really want to get into in another video because I feel like it needs a separate situation. And also for people that are watching this video that want to find out some things, might not want to find out how long it took us to try. I don't know. I just feel like it's quite a sensitive subject that needs its own kind of video but to answer your question it didn't take us very long we were very lucky i yeah basically but i'm going to go into that in a separate video because i think yeah i don't know it's a really difficult situation it's a really difficult topic i know that some people struggle and i just find that really difficult i don't want to like rub anything in or i don't know but yeah we'll talk about that in another video but um don't worry if you're only 23 it will happen for you, even though it's the most friggin' frustrating thing anyone can ever say. <laughs> Some, there's been loads of questions asking um, whether we're going to find out the gender. And somebody's also said here, do you have some names picked out? So, no, we're not going to find out the gender. I really don't want to. Dale was not so sure. He was kind of like, maybe. But now he's totally gone the other way and doesn't want to either. Not against it for other people at all, but just for us. I just really don't want to find out. I'm already nervous that the sonographer is going to like let it slip when we have our 20 week scan or something like that. I don't know. Um, but no, really don't want to find out. Just want it to be a secret. Names picked out. Yes, we do have some names picked out. We've always had one for a girl, basically, that we've had for years. So that probably won't change unless we look at her if it's a girl and think mm, that's not right boys we're struggling with a little bit more but we do have some I say we've probably got about three or four for each that are potentials but I don't know whether that's normal for have them quite early or not I just feel like I feel like for the girl's name we've always had it and I feel like it's never going to change it might change I don't think it will though and the boys there's a few we're toying with but we've definitely not got anything set in stone at all. But he said underneath it, do you have a secret preference? I defo did. I definitely don't have a preference. I, I genuinely don't have a preference at all. I really am not worried if it's a girl or a boy. It's our first baby. I really, really don't mind at all. Um, I always used to think that I'd want a girl first, but now I'm pregnant, I'm kind of swaying more towards the fact that I'd quite like a boy first, literally simply because we've got quite a lot of girls in our sort of social circles both me and Dale so we've got two nieces together we've got two goddaughters or I've got two goddaughters we've got lots of friends with girls we don't really have many boys although I've got a couple of friends that are giving birth imminently who are having boys so you know it's going to break it up so I feel like a boy would be quite nice to break it up but like genuinely hand on heart both me and Dale have discussed it we don't have any preference at all we're just going to be happy with with a healthy baby we're really not worried um Maybe if you ask me a second or a third or whatever, then I might have a preference, but at the minute, I don't. Okay, somebody has also asked me, have I had the COVID vaccine? Oh, I'm so thirsty, two seconds. Thirst and hunger are a serious pregnancy symptom, I swear. 
Um, have I had the COVID vaccine? Yes, I have. I've had my first dose. I was really unsure about getting it. All of my friends had it done quite a while ago and I didn't. I was just very, very nervous in all honesty, especially because we were kind of looking at trying for a baby. We, I was also very nervous about the fertility, even both Dale and I were too. So he was quite on the fence about having his. We both decided it was probably the right thing for, to, for him to have his and I would hold, oh God, I can't talk. And I would hold off a little bit. And then obviously I fell pregnant and I was still really unsure. I was so against it, if I'm honest. I was like, no, I'm not having it done. And then I've kind of waited a little bit and realized that actually it is kind of the right thing to do for me. Some people don't want it done, totally understand, that's fine. Um, but for me and us, we just felt like it was the right decision. Um, I've got a couple of friends that are kind of late pregnancy now that have kind of have caught COVID and are quite unwell. Also had COVID back in December and it really wasn't very nice. I can't really imagine going through that pregnant either because you can't, pregnancy comes with its own set of symptoms. Um, I spoke to my midwife, I spoke to my doctor, I spoke to any health professional basically that I could get five minutes with and they all said, please have it they almost begged me to have it so i had it and i had my first dose at just under a 12 weeks so i think it was about 11 and a half weeks and then we saw our baby on the 12 week scan and everything was fine i was really nervous i was like oh gosh um and i'm gonna have my second dose at around 18 20 weeks so yes i've had my first vaccine i'm definitely gonna have my second was i nervous about it yes did i take a while to come to my decision yes would i judge anyone for not having it no, I really wouldn't because I think it's a really difficult decision. It's very, very personal. Um, I just think you have to do your own research, go with your gut and speak to your health, health professionals. Um, I literally spoke to everyone basically. Um, and yeah, so yes, I have had my COVID vaccine. Okay, second one is, have you brought many bits yet? I haven't brought anything yet really, in all honesty. I really thought I'd be that person that was like, I'm gonna buy loads of stuff like as soon as I find out I'm pregnant and blah blah blah. I brought one pair of leggings from the white company which I just thought was so adorable and they were in the sale and I brought a baby grow from Asda when we were kind of thinking about trying. I, I said to Dale I brought it for a friend but really I brought it for us. I thought it was so adorable again it was in the sale for two pounds and I was like, that is literally adorable. I need it. Um, so yeah, that is all I've brought. A family member has already brought us a lovely baby bath, which is great. Again, she saw it, thought about it, just brought it, which we're really grateful for. But apart from that, nothing has been purchased. And to be honest, I don't think it will for a while. I'm still quite anxious. And I just feel like as well, when you're not finding out the gender, I don't feel like it's as much of a rush to go and buy stuff. I think if I was finding out the gender at 20 weeks, I would probably be way more inclined to go and buy a load of things but because I'm not I'm kind of like oh we'll just see what happens and we'll just kind of wait so no, nothing's been brought I've done quite a lot of research though on some stuff we are quite happy to go secondhand for a lot of the stuff for the nursery I've kind of done quite a lot of research into the pram that we'd like and we did have a little look around John Lewis the other day and had a little push but nothing big just kind of was like oh that's nice that's nice um so no nothing's really been brought or purchased or anything really but we're kind of thinking about it more and more as the weeks go on okay somebody has said what are your plans for the baby's nursery so again this is a bit of a situation where i'm like oh, i don't really know what to do um we're so lucky we have three bedrooms in this house but they're not very big so we're kind of in a situation where at the minute where the baby's room is is currently dale's home office and he is currently working from home well it kind of depends really on the weeks but he works from home a couple of days a week so we're a bit like, oh, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna move that home office? Are you even gonna be working from home in February? So we're not really sure what to do. We're not really sure what room the baby's going in, if we're gonna switch it around. We're not really sure yet in all honesty. Obviously decor is gonna be neutral because we're not finding out what we're having. Like I said in the previous question, we're really quite happy to do things secondhand. Um, I'm not worried at all, to be honest, about going to like mamas and papas and getting like a new set of anything i just feel like one i just don't really want to spend all the money on it and two i just feel like you can get so many good things second hand my friend who's pregnant has recently done her whole nursery for like 200 pounds off of facebook 
um, everything was pretty much brand new from there. Some things that weren't brand new, she's like repainted and I'm kind of quite similar to do, I'm kind of quite keen to do a similar thing. No, not any real major plans, but I'm sure it will come to it. I'm looking on Pinterest, put it that way. Okay, so somebody has also asked if I'm worried about Milo with the baby. In all honesty, not at all, not even in the slightest. I think he'll be absolutely fine. He's the kindest, softest dog ever. I'm not worried at all about leaving. Obviously, I wouldn't leave them unattended, but I'm not worried about being in a room with them both at all. I think he might get quite jealous, but equally, I mean, I don't know when the baby's here, but equally, I don't think I'm going to be one of these people that kind of just ditch their dogs. Um, he's literally, he's lying right here, actually. You haven't been in the camera for a while, have you? Look at him, he's such a baby himself. I mean, he's not, he's six, but... Yeah, I am not worried at all, to be honest. I think he might be quite jealous, but equally, like I say, he will probably get his fair share of attention. And I think he'll just love the baby, to be honest. He just loves... He loves things, people, things going on. Um, so no, I'm not worried at all. Last question. Somebody has asked me, maternity shop slash brands. Oh, God. So... It's a, oh, I've got a Milo hair in my hand. This is a difficult one because I haven't, I'm only kind of early pregnancy. I do have a bump, I'll show you at the end, um, but it's not huge yet, obviously, at all, because I'm only like 14 weeks or coming up to 14 weeks. When I was about 11 weeks, I, me and my mum went shopping to get some maternity stuff because basically my jeans didn't really fit me from 10 weeks or maybe even, maybe even smaller, like nine weeks. Um, not that I had so much a bump, but I was really bloated. I suffered hugely with bloating in that first trimester. Um, and everything was just uncomfortable. So I could probably fit back into my jeans more now, actually, than when I did when I was then, because I don't have as much bloating. Yeah, we went shopping and we had a little look. We did get some bits from H&M. Got some maternity jeans, which are just awful. I can't get on board with them at all. Somebody has asked me to check out River Island maternity jeans, which I think I'm going to have to. The H&M ones just feel like, like really jeggin'-y, and I really don't like jeggin' jeans. Previously, I used to wear mum jeans, um, so I quite like the high-waisted vintage look. Um, so I'm kind of struggling to get on board with a skinny jean again, um, but I will have to get used to it or find some that I like because it's coming up to winter. I can't keep wearing dresses. But so far, I've got a few bits from ASOS Maternity, which I've liked, including this dress, and a few bits from H&M, but that is it. I haven't brought a huge amount yet, um, but I will definitely keep in touch with the whole maternity thing and let you know what I've found, of course, because I feel like it's quite an important thing. So this is a dress from ASOS Maternity, and it's just like a collared kind of V-neck long dress. The bump, the bump. Um, this is really not a good angle for me, actually, but anyway. Yeah, so that's the bump. It's quite big, I'd say, for where I'm at. Um, and a lot of people have said that to me, <laughs> which I'm not really offended by, it is what it is. Um, but, yes, that's the bump. It's quite big. But, I just feel like Dale's six foot six, I'm five foot ten. I was a big baby. Dale wasn't too big, but you know. I, both our families are big we've had both they've all had big babies it's not going to be a small baby is it let's be honest <laughs> anyway that is it thank you so much for all your questions i honestly can't describe to you how nice it is to be back on youtube like it's such a bizarre thing talking to the camera like some people might think that's so weird to have that as your hobby but i really love it i love chatting i love talking about it um so yeah i'm really really grateful to be back so thank you so much for all your questions i really hope you enjoyed this video there will be so much more to come um and now i've actually got my camera back i'm going to vlog so many more things so hopefully i can vlog like some scans and some appointments and things like that um and as the pregnancy on goes on further obviously there'll be a lot more things to document um like we're gonna i'll take you guys with me when we go pram shopping and all sorts of bits and bobs so yes thank you so much for watching uh please like please give a subscribe if you're into all this baby content there's so much more to come and i'll see you all very soon